Hey everybody, Rick's here. Hey, I wanted to share some projects that I just recently made and how I made them. Like this t-shirt you see right here. And check this out. This one here. And this one here. And this one here. And my experimental shirt here where I've been doing a lot of testing. This one right here. See that real colorful thing? Now all of these t-shirts, this one that I'm wearing right here, and this one I'm not wearing right now, and this one that I did as well. Ricks can do it. And this one again. All these I did using this acrylic marker set. It's kind of like paint pens kind of thing. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I use these markers to make all these colorful custom t-shirts. So let's get right into it. Okay, the first thing that we want to do is prepare the transfer paper, the quick transfer paper. There will be a link down in the description area below the video on how to acquire this paper if you like. Now I have a tear here because this came out of my discard pile. In other words, quality control as we make the paper. If I have any of them that has any tears or anything, they go into a discard box and then I just use them for demos on videos because they're perfectly good it's just that they're not pretty they may have some stain or something and there you go just to explain why there's a tear but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to prepare this paper so the first thing I want to do is get some kind of a easy tack spray there's various brands I'll have some links down in the description below for uh, other brands because I believe this one here is kind of hard to find and if I do find a link for that I'll put that down there too but you just want some kind of an easy tack it's a, a low tack adhesive and it's just meant to be temporary and it just makes things a little on the sticky side so don't get too close to the paper though you don't want to just spew all over it but but mist it up um, I'm going to have to protect this area here, so let me get some protection. Now here's an, a board that is actually made to be tacky already, so adding more tack to it won't hurt. And I'm going to put my paper on there, and then I'm going to spray it oh, a couple of feet back, just to make sure I don't soak the paper. You don't want to do that, but I just want to add a little tackiness to it. Just make sure you got it everywhere. Okay, and that's it. Nothing more. And then clean your nozzle off. These tend to clog on these uh, Easy Tack cans. All right. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to put this paper in a box like this. Just throw it in there. Some DTF powder. Again, links down in the description area. You're going to put back what you don't use. That's why we have the box here. Okay. And you just go like this and make sure that you have 100% coverage. All right. Okay, now we're going to shake off the excess, anything that's not sticking to the paper. Just shake it off. You don't want a bunch of clumps or anything on here. You just want to you just want to have it really coated. See, so coat it. Okay, and then the rest of this 
can go back into the container. Put it all back in here. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is I have this wood board here because I need some kind of protection from from the iron that I'm going to use. I don't want it to uh, cause a problem with my workspace, my table here. And I'm just going to carefully place the paper in the middle there. And what I want to do is cover it with some kind of a Teflon sheet. I got a bunch of these on Timu, really cheap. But you can get them on Amazon too. Yes, I'll put a link down in the description area for everything that I'm using. Everything. I'll have a description link. I'll have a link down in the description. All right. And then what you want to do is you can use a heat press and press this for about 20 seconds at 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Or, like most people, you may not have a heat press. You can just get a hot iron. I have this set on all the way on the full setting six. And for about a minute, you want to uh, heat this. Now I have the, some of that powder on the top. I don't want to get that on my iron. So let me just clean that off really quick here. Okay, now just go ahead and iron the sheet. About a minute should do. You just want to melt that DTF powder right on the transfer paper. Real simple. So far, all we've done is made it tacky, add some of the DTF powder, and now we're just going to melt onto it. These steps are so easy. But what's really great about this process is that we're going to be able to paint onto this thing. And I'm going to use paint markers, acrylic paint markers and just draw paint whatever it is you want right on the paper itself it'll go right on top of this DTF powder and then we're going to transfer it onto fabric in this case I'm going to I'm just going to get a t-shirt and I'm going to transfer it onto a white t-shirt so you can do handbags or whatever you want okay now I think I may have it. Let me see. Okay, so I'm just going to carefully peel the paper back off the Teflon and I want to see that it's melted. And it does look like it's melted. Alright, so. Alright. So that's good. Well, there's a little bit not melted, so let me just take care of that real quick. I want to make sure it's all nice and melted onto the paper it's not going to hurt to go longer just to make sure okay all right so we got it all okay Now, I'm going to turn my iron off because I don't know how long it's going to take for me to draw. But once this thing cools down, we can start our cre creativity here. We can start getting it all creative. Now, in case I haven't uh, already shown you earlier, I'm going to be using this acrylic marker set. There's the brand of this particular one. And I got this one on AliExpress. They have a whole ton of products, including arts and crafts type products. And the prices are really great. If you don't mind waiting a little longer for it to be delivered because of how far away it's, it's coming, usually from China, um, it's a great resource. I've picked up things for my printer. I picked up some art supplies and I went and bought this and uh, again I'll leave that information down in the description area but it came 
with these markers right here and they are kind of a, a, a water-based uh, acrylic paint kind of thing but it's a marker right it's an acrylic marker and let me show you um, close up here all right so it says acrylic marker okay so there it's going to work great on this project right here let me get these pins here so I have access to them. Now I'm going to take my black marker here and I'm just going to create some kind of a pattern. Just something because I don't have anything in particular uh, that I want on my t-shirt. But you may, uh, you may have something that you want. You know what? Let's do this. Yeah, I'm going to take the black and I'm going to go, let's see, how about I'm going to draw a circle here and I'm going to go something like this. All right, and that's going to be like the start of my sun, I guess. So I'll use yellow here. tree or something yeah that'd be great I just don't know what one looks like hmm well I'll try I'll just try anyway so simple this whole process is it's just incredible all we did is melt on some powder on this paper and then we're just going to turn this over and we're just going to iron it right on the fabric I mean no more spraying there's no other thing we need to do this at all now what what is that these palm trees have some kind of weird looking uh, thing like this um,
I draw terrible clouds. <laughs> terrible clouds. I don't know what that is. All right. You know what I'm going to do now? We're going to we're going to bring this to a close here so I can show you how this is done. You know, obviously my little drawing here is kind of pathetic, but I'm going to sign this now. Rick's you sign it backwards because everything is mirrored, right? Okay. R I X. Yeah, there we go. That's it. And you can put a date on there or whatever, but that's it. That's all I'm going to do. And now, okay, so that's that's the R Artex A R R T X yeah AliExpress is where I got these all right so there we go now turn my iron back on at high again and what I want to do is I want to grab a t-shirt oh and this would also be a good time to trim off any any excess white areas that you don't want you know what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this X-Acto knife here and, because it's much more precise and I'm going to be real careful here and I'm just going to carve out what I don't want. I don't want excess white area okay, in my final transfer because you will be able to see it a little bit it is clear but you can tell that you got something there so if you've ever done transfers on t-shirts before you know what I'm talking about always trim off with your excess okay I'll always do that all right and that out of there this is easy to do so just pull out your exacto or your scissors and just go to town be careful not to put your fingers all over the drawing you don't know what might still be wet Let's see Alright, check that out. Alright, throw the rest of it away. Won't be needing it. Okay. okay straighten it as best I can. going to whoops power cord got in the way make sure the bottom of your iron is clean mine's dirty so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this other t-shirt that I have that's my experiment okay be careful not to burn yourself or anything okay and then center this where you want it this may be the trickiest part of the whole project so take your time make sure you're getting it straight okay I think that's where I want it right there eyeballing it okay then you want to do is you're going to get that Teflon sheet again. Make sure it's clean on both sides. Lay it down carefully so you don't move anything. 
And if the iron is all the way hot, you're ready to go. All right. You just press it on for 20 seconds on your heat press at 340 degrees Fahrenheit or for about a minute using your iron full heat man you want this thing on blast all right that seems like a good minute I'm gonna turn this thing off so I'm pretty confident it is on there good okay let it cool down before we get ready to take it off Whew. all right now it's just uh, really warm that's all that's left so I can go ahead and start doing this get some water and apply the water to the back of the paper all the way to the edge of the paper so you'll be able to peel it Okay, you want the water to soak into the paper so that we can release it because this paper releases with moisture. All right. Now, just a heads up, the powder we're using, the DTX powder, has a way of making the paper stick um, more than it does when you try to glue this to wood or plastic or glass or whatever um, or even fabric it it's really strange but this powder does tend to make it like you got to give it a little bit more effort in taking the paper off but it's a it's a far cry from having to scrape off paper uh, that's just regular paper okay so this does give you an advantage that it peels better. If you moisten it, it'll peel better. But just be ready that, um, you know, it's not going to just peel off in one sheet like it would if you were doing it on wood or something. Uh, fabric in itself makes it a little bit grabby. And that DTX powder is very, very, very sticky and wants to hold on for dear life. But it'll come off. Okay, that water is soaked in pretty good. I'm going to say this thing is ready. So I'm going to take the excess water off, as usual, with a clean, dry paper towel. And I just want to take the excess off. I don't want to dry this. That would defeat the purpose. And now we got to try to get it started some at one of the ends here, the edges. We get it started and we can start peeling. Okay. And you can see that it'll start to peel off really nice if once we get uh, this thing started. All right. So take your time when heating this thing on. Okay. Now. I dried this with the iron, so now it, it wants to stay. Let me take it from another area here. Get it started. Once you get something you can grab onto, and it's okay to scrape on this because it's got this DTX powder coating. The, the image, the drawing, Underneath now it's protected okay there you go see this part was the part where I put the iron on and it wants to stay on here so let me re-moisten it again right there and let it soak there for a second get the rest of this off here okay I just love it when it just peels off. There's my name written normal. <laughs> okay. All right, 
And now let me get that off and it just comes right off. Okay. All right, this all got dry because I'm taking too much time. So let me just re-moisten it. Okay. Get a corner started or an edge. Again, I should take my paper towel and get the excess off. That way it doesn't keep tearing in little shreds, you know. Just more work that way. Okay. I like to take it in big broad strokes like this. See what I mean by extra sticky? So I have to take it off in, in, in swaths. Big swaths. You know. Okay. Alright, there's a little bit right there, get that off. Alright, final stretch, get this part off here. There we go. Alright, anything I don't take off will come out in the wash, but I don't want a bunch of paper floating around my wash, so take the time to scrape off any little pieces I may still have. And there you go. Look at that. Ah. Right. I probably didn't center it too well, I know I didn't. <laughs> but, that does look pretty cool, don't it? All right, well, I will throw this inside out into the washer, then the dryer, and the next images you're gonna see is me wearing it.